So, yay. So we are live. My name is Petra Diamant and I am the founder of Earth Alive 365. I'm the founder of the Matriarch Women's Club, uh, Women for the Wild. And this is the reason why I am sitting here today with this lovely being next to me talking about a very special workshop called The Mother of Pearl. Hi. So next to me is Olga Lipkovich. Olga? Please introduce yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pedro, for having me here today. Um, my name is Olga Lipkovic, and I have been working with uh, moms and families in the last decade of my life. Oh, it sounds so serious. Um, and I would like to share with, uh, with more and more moms and families what I have learned through all those works what I have been doing with the with the moms and the babies and the and the children and the families, and uh, so I created this uh, workshop. It's a nine weeks uh, nine week workshop, yes. and uh, and each week we would work on uh, a special topic, uh, and uh, I would like to invite you to discover the the real you through these topics because I do trust that uh, that you are a pearl yes. and you are the mother of pearl and uh, you can have as many pearls as you want in your life and you can treasure them. Yes. So Olga and I, we were discussing this. So when she first came to me with the idea of, you know, everything scribbled on paper and I was like, no, we're going to put this all together for you and make it look really pretty. She was very clear about what she wanted to do. So she wanted to work with moms. That's her background. When I met Olga, um, she had already had two children and it's still only the two children. And she had a very unique way of speaking to her child, very unique way of, um, you know, interacting with other people. Um, and also with her children in the same room, which I found very fascinating and I respected it so much because it really was a, what I saw was a lot of um, self-growth and self-teachings that had to be unlearned, relearned, um, you know, this whole thing of parent and child, the relationship that we have with parent and child, when we don't even have our own relationships to ourselves sorted out. So, Olga came to me. The idea was to have a workshop for women. And I looked at it and we realized that she could do a nine week workshop with the information that it, she had put together. So um, yes, so we've decided to offer this nine week workshop to women in the Matriarch Club, uh, Women for the Wild, because it is here to remind us how lustrous we can be and beautiful we can be when we care, when we give attention and take care of ourselves. I mean, I took my pearls out this morning and they were all yellowy and I haven't worn them in years. And I thought, oh my goodness, you know, they're not ready to be worn today. And the moment I started touching them, the color came back and the shine came back, that whole luster came back of them. And, and really it is about that, you know, so... Your workshop, Olga, you know, we talk about the mother of Pearl. Immediately that takes me back to the ocean. It takes me back to the womb. It takes me back to the water element and everything that, you know, you know, the, the effort that it takes for a pearl to grow from um, any particle, really. You know, I mean, we used a different word earlier on, <laughs> but, uh, you know, pearls get created for, from something that gets trapped. And then the whole magic and beauty starts shaping around that and it gets its whole shape. And then after that, you know, mixing with certain elements, it gets that shine. And then finally we get it and, you know, we can appreciate that. And this is what the workshop is about. So initially it was for mothers, uh, newborns, and also mothers um, that are expecting. But when I had a look at her workshop, I realized you know, that this workshop can go so much more. You, you know, it's not just for moms and um, mothers that are going to have children or moms, you know, that are expecting or already have children. But it, this really applies to anybody, really. Um, and what really got me was the word trust. Mm -hmm. Yes, because um, that is that is um, uh, the essence of, of life, basically, but the essence of us and uh, 
that's where the workshop starts and that's where the workshop ends. Um, I, um, I see this process as uh, initially you have to risk mm. that trust. Yeah. Okay, so then it can be built on and uh, and eventually you're going to start to trust the process. You start to trust the universe, you start to trust everything and everybody around you. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, you you have you have uh, haven't discovered that knowing what is in you already, mm -hmm. what you brought here uh, to give you that confidence. Yes. And that's what I'd like to build up in you and in all the women who who's ready to to explore yes. that knowing. Yeah. So I'm looking at the the mother of pearl sheet now. You know, and we have words like trust, which is something for me that I struggle with a lot. Um, you know, I really struggle with that word trust and struggle trusting people and letting them in and letting them close. Um, and it's taken a lot of work for me since childhood to really, you know, establish some boundaries. And Olga will discuss all of that. So um, we have a beautiful spiral. That's where we start out, you know, that's the origin of things. And then trust is her first um, a sort of topic. So the nine week workshop will, will start there is the introduction. And then that word where Olga will then ask you to go and seriously analyze that and sit with yourself and see where you um, trust or mistrust the certain things in your life, you know, what is blocking you. And then from there we go on to, do you want to say it? You can, you can. Say so we yes, go on to, yeah, so she's going to go on to vulnerability, gratitude, allowance, respect. I mean, these are really big words. And, um, you know, if you don't have these in place, you don't have any healthy boundaries, or you have two, two, two thick boundaries, the walls are too high, nothing gets in, um, the limitations are too big, you know, you can't succeed uh, in, in that tiny thing that you, uh, what's that, the limitation, I mean, you know all about yes, the limitations, yes, yes. yes, the barriers, yeah, the barriers, it's, That's it's that, that, that wall, that uh, transparent wall, mm. in, in my, uh, my um, um, vision is, is, is like, you can see through but you can't get through yes okay and that is that is basically your boundaries but a little bit more because uh, when you have these barriers it's somehow stronger than your mm -hmm. boundaries and if yeah. you can let these barriers down then you can actually transform this this uh, this transparent um glass and just broke it into pieces, that's when you can actually see the real you and that's when you can actually see the real others who you invited into your life, yes. everybody, because you invited everybody into your exactly. life and for a reason. Mm -hmm. So you can start trust. Yeah. And, uh, and once you have seen that trust is not a, a blind faith, okay, trust is a is something that that you can uh, that you can uh, avoid and and going to faith and you believe that everything is going to be okay mm -hmm. no. no life no builds up on a different way yeah. everything is perfect as it is even if certain things are not actually perfect on the way how you expected them yes. to be yes you know, so for instance, why I asked Olga to come on board and, you know, we, you know, when we started talking about all of this, I don't have children, but I, my mission at the moment is to work with animals, to work with the wild, is to work with women and children. And it was very important for me to bring a woman on board that has a family, that's been through the issues, that's been through the heartache, that's come back, that's had businesses, that's succeeded, that's failed, that's rebuilt the businesses, you know, and she keeps on developing, she keeps on studying, she keeps keeps on bringing new practices on board and this is where some of us um, and especially I think in mothers that I see is we we get our children we have our job we get so busy and then we forget what we really wanted to do or we get stuck somewhere and we can't get out of it and I really wanted to bring somebody on board that's been through all of that so you can sit in her presence and she will hold space for you and she will listen and she will I mean, she's done this so beautifully a few times already for me. I just she always has this this twist 
and a reply to you that makes you think differently. Okay, and I think that we need that, especially if we're going to create a better world um, and we're going to get all our beautiful pearls together, you know, all these beautiful, shiny human beings together to also work on themselves so that when they eventually are ready to come out of that shell, that they know what their purpose is, be it a mother or not a mother, any age, um, any religion, any tradition, so that when you get out of that shell, that you can fully step into your purpose Okay, and join us or whoever you want to join and succeed. Yeah. So, so trust, vulnerability is a very big word. Gratitude, I mean, every day we have to remind ourselves, you know, to be grateful for th certain things. Allowance, this is going to be where a lot, um, I think Olga is going to challenge you because <laughs> how much do we really allow ourselves to have and where are all our limitations and I think she has got some really good tools that she'll be sharing with you um, on the allowance part and I'm talking a lot but and then also the respect okay and I think maybe that's where I'll come in and I'll help you a little bit with with that um, you know I'll be like a guest speaker yes. um, then from there we're going to move on to the physical the social the emotional and the mental um, developments so hmm, mother of pearl yes i want to give you a little bit of background on olga olga has been you've been working with with children for how with, with mothers for how with long mothers about 10 years 10 yes, years the last 10 years of my life i've spent uh, to explore um motherhood how it uh, affects a woman's life how it affects everybody's life around that woman mm. how it changes and how and what are the tools what we can uh, learn and what we can use on a daily basis to yes. help ourselves to help our our loved ones to to live an easier life with us because once you become a mother mother of anything um as Petra said, um, it, even if you don't have children, you are welcome to join our workshop because you might have a business who yeah. becomes your, your, your child, child and you want to grow that business. You might, hi. You might have um, a special um, uh, skill, what you just discovered and you'd like to expand on it. You might have a, a, an idea what you'd like to treasure and mm. and see how it can become your pearl so this is this is like a, a general um, um term for for anything what what you can treasure yes so it's the child i have been working with with children and i have been working uh, with uh, with mothers and then based on that experience i could uh, i could see and i could uh, see your treasure as your child and yeah. remind you of how the environment important, how you as the facilitator in that person's life are very important and how you can change your perspective on things so you can change the situation, you can change the child, you can change the pearl to become even more beautiful and shiny. Yes. Yes, and also I wanted to include while you were speaking about that is um, that she's done she's done so many workshops. She's had one-on-one -on -one consultations with with mothers, with families, um, with people who aren't mothers. I've been to Olga for a few sessions, and she's also gone and she's given um, you given talks. Okay, she's originally from Hungary. She's originally from Hungary, and um, but she yeah you know, she studied what you studied business. I have uh, I have been um, uh, a marketing manager. I have uh, it's, uh, before children life and after children. Yes, life. before children okay. life and after children <laughs> life, which I know nothing about because I've never had children. <laughs> and uh, so my background is marketing and uh, online marketing. My uh, um, uh, original uh, status is a teacher. Yes, and then lately I expanded on that, and then I became a Montessori teacher. And uh, my passion is uh, working with uh, special children in all possible ways, mm. gifted on the way how we understand gift, and gifted on the way how we understand its uh, disability. Mm. Um, that is the the beautifully challenging part, and. Uh, 
and uh, children of all labels. I love labels. I yeah. love to get rid of labels and yeah. make everybody see that this is a gift. Yes. And how to turn that label into a gift, into a pearl, mm. and discover the ways to create the proper environment for these gifted children yes. to live their life fully and, yes. and reach their full capacity and full yes. potential. I think that's so important because, you know, as a child, I mean, I, you know, as a child, we go through certain things, you have certain personality traits, you have certain gifts and, um, and people that don't understand those gifts don't necessarily know what to do with that or how to um, develop you know the child's exactly. gift exactly. I mean th that is what it yes. is it's your gift that's what you came to the planet with exactly. and I found that afterwards you know there was a heavy judgment on certain skills that I had and um, and those are my strengths exactly those are my exactly. strengths and exactly. it was so much stronger than than most <laughs> yes. than most people I knew so that's exactly the, the yeah. beauty of it that that mm -hmm. what you judge yourself because you are taking on the judgments of others you all you start judging yourself as a as a wrongness it's like something is wrong with me yeah and you live your whole life mm -hmm. in that state of mind that this is my my weakness yeah. and that's the the beauty how you can transform mm -hmm. yourself into into a new reality yes. with the gift what you have yes and you have beautifully proven it <laughs> yes thank you thank you so thank much you. thank you so that's the mother of pearl and we are going to launch it for the she matriarch um women's club the she africa matriarch women's club which is a club for women um i wanted five oh i want i would like five thousand women for the while to join us um this is the first of the workshops that we will offer and i quite like the name it again brings me back to earth and to the water and how precious we are and how absolutely um, required it is of each and every one of us to do our very best, our absolute very, very best to get our shine on. And um, there's no better way to do that now. So if you're a mom and you're feeling a little bit stuck, or you know you're not really you know you don't really know how to handle some of your child's um, things that are coming up. More often, what I've discovered is, is that that is your thing. Your, you so yeah, yeah, that's your stuff. Exactly. Children are not here so that we teach them what to do. They teach us what no. to do. Yeah. And, um, and they are so honest. So, you know, as honest as they are so honest, we have to be honest with ourselves. Exactly. And I think this Olga's workshop will... Not I think. I know Olga's workshop will help you work through a few things. So we have a cut off date. The cut off date is the 11th of May. You have time from now till the 11th of May to register for the Mother of Bull workshop. I'm going to add a link in the Matriarch Club for that. If we can't fill um, the workshop with that, we will extend the link to moms that are not in the in, in, in the Matriarch Club. But please yes. join the club. Yes. <laughs> please join the club so that you can join the community so that we can not only support you in with what she does, but so that we can also support you in with what I do and with what other women do. We would really like to get, um, what was the word that I used? is to create the change that we really, really seek in this world. And we cannot do it alone. We cannot do it alone. Basically the tribe, what we are seeking. Yeah, the tribe. We are looking for the tribe. You know, whether you join my tribe or whether you join Olga's tribe, because Olga will also build her own tribe inside of my tribe, which is not just mine. Yes, it's You know, I'm just the vessel that this yes, comes through. Exactly. I'm the one who opened up the possibility. Yes. So everybody can create. Yes. their own, own tribe yes. and then so once we are all together then yeah. it's, a, it's a massive it's a massive population. thing and once we've reached 5,000 women I want to extend that and I want to grow it and go even bigger okay we don't have that yet for the men but you know if we do get some men that want to be in the, the matriarch club um, maybe we'll create a separate vision a division so that you can still get the same tools yeah. that we offer but for now it is for women yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, that is the mother of Paul. Thank this you. is me, Pietro Diamant, for the Matriarch Women's Club, and Olga Lipkovics. Lipkovich. Lipkovics. <laughs> yes, I say it differently so that people can Beautiful. pronounce it. Yes. But um, and she does have a website, but we're going to launch it. We're going to share all the links with you, and we do hope that you will join us. Thank you so much. And it starts summer. on the 14th. 14th. Yes, we start start on the 14th of yes. May. 
so that's why the 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 bookings are open until the 11th yeah, of yeah. May. And we were a little bit nervous today because we weren't quite sure how to do this, but 20 <laughs> minutes, we're, like, we're still good on time. We may go over to 22 minutes. So you have from now, which is the 1st of May, till the 11th of May to register. It's a nine week workshop. We have space for nine people. Exactly. Okay, exactly. per workshop. There are two workshops, yes. all right? But for now, we're gonna do um, a workshop, mm -hmm. nine weeks, Space for nine people. Yes. Maybe Olga will will um, decide to get more people on board, but she also yes. wants to do a one-on-one -on -one with people who yes. really need it, all right, and are willing to do the work and come forward and say, yes. I'm struggling with this and that, so that we can see who else we can bring on board. And then I'm going to uh, surprise everybody. So part of the workshop, she's also going to bring other people in exactly. on the workshop. So these are other guest speakers, people that is, it's going to be a gift from her to you for signing up. So you're going to have Olga, but she's also going to have other people coming on board, sharing their knowledge to see how they can help you. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So yeah. And then we finally launch on the 14th of May with the first class yes. or the first workshop. Looking forward to have everyone on board. Yes. Looking forward Thank to have you. everybody Thank on you. board. Any final words? Oh, I want to say. We dressed <laughs> up as pearlies today. So we have coral and pearl, like a beautiful pearl shower. We can't see it with the lighting. So, yes, we are two pearls sitting here today for the mother of pearl and the, the woman who birthed the mother of pearl. Thank you so much, Petro. Thank Pleasure. you for opening up this platform and uh, yes. and the possibility for all, all of this to happen. Yes. And uh, and the moment you identify the little pearl in you, your whole life is going to change. I love that. I love. I really love yes. that. Thank you so much, and I wish you all the best for this workshop. You've Thank done you. a lot of work, and you've put Thank a lot you. of hard work into this. Thank you, Petro. Yes. You. Pleasure. <laughs> okay. Sign up. Sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up today so that you don't miss it. Nine spaces only for nine weeks. And if we get more people, we'll extend that and we'll open it up for um, for more women. Okay? Okay. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.